Hello investors, welcome back to your number one place for all your investing needs. So if you guys have been following the videos I've been uploading the past week, well, you could have called this a great runner. So if we look right here, BNGO, it was up about 50% today and then 28% more in the after hours. So this stock was trading at under about 90 cents per share. Now it's trading at almost double that. So almost a 100% gain in the past 24 hours. So if you missed out on this one, don't miss out on the next one. So in today's video, what we're going to be talking about is actually three low float stocks. So these are going to be penny stocks with low floats, which means they have a higher chance of, you know, moving up or down dramatically with, you know, high volume. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. So as we see here, three low float penny stocks to watch before 2021, which are up about 70% this quarter. So now, obviously, the first thing we're going to say is, are low float penny stocks good to buy? So this is a great question and one that you'll have to answer for yourself. The, low, the lower the float of a penny stock, the higher the chance of a big price fluctuation, which is what I stated earlier in the video. Think of it as a simple economic theory. A low supply environment paired with a higher demand equates to prices moving up quickly. This is the attraction of low flow penny stocks. However, just as quickly as they move up, they can fall back, leaving bag holders in the wake of the sell-off. So if you're looking for a low flow penny stock to buy right now, keep that in mind. So obviously, like we said, this is high risk, high reward. Uh, these are very, very dangerous. The volatility is very high. So do not invest in any of these penny stocks without doing your own research. I'm not a financial advisor. So before investing into any type of stocks, speak to your financial advisor. These are just for educational purposes and for you to just keep an eye out on. So the first low float penny stock on our list is going to be Burke's Groups. So Burke's Group, the company designs jewelry, watches, and luxury gifts. The company operates 29 stores across Canada with 26 stores under the Mason Burke's brand. One thing that has plagued the company is obviously the Rona 19 lockdown restrictions. This month, the company updated the market on the potential impact of a second wave. In response, Jean Christopher Bedos, president of CEO of uh, Burke's Group, explained MasonBurks.com is the number one e commerce destination in Canada for luxury watches and jewelry. We have remained committed to and recently invested in technology equipment for the purpose of offering the highest possible quality and in individual video shopping to our clients. Uh, with under 18 million shares outstanding and some outlets showing a float below 5 million, BGI comes onto this list. The unusual volume has come as a sign for some traders to add this to their watch list this week. Quarter to date, BGI stock is up 73% so far. So some of you guys wanted me to show the ticker symbol on screen. So it's going to be right here, BGI, for you guys that want to see it right there. And now we're going to take a look at this chart. So if we take here on a one-year chart, uh, this stock was trading at around 40 cents when the Rona started at the beginning of the year. And as you can see, the volume has been very, very low. I mean, we're trading like 30, 40, 50,000 shares. But then you can see here, 34 million shares get traded. The stock jumped from about 69 cents all the way to about $1.25 here high, which is a pretty decent high to have. We pulled back down again, and then we continued another run up here with volume at around 3 million and then 4 million shares. The stock went from about 72 cents to about $1.15. And now we're back down on this trend. Now, what we're looking here is for the support. So the support that I see is around this 80 cents area, maybe 75, 78 cents area. And then the resistance that I see is gonna be around this, uh, let's just say about $1.10. If we can break through that $1.10 area, we have all the way to about $1.50 before we hit our next resistance, in my opinion, and continue to run up after that. Um, but obviously it's going to take a lot of power. It's going to take a lot of volume with this one to push it up and we'll see how this one goes in the next few weeks. So keep an eye out on this one. If you guys made it this far into the video, go ahead and real quick, smash that like button for me. Let's get a hundred plus likes on this video. It obviously helps the channel grow, helps the YouTube algorithm. We just said 10.7 thousand subscribers. We have three days left in this month. So please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn on that bell notification for more videos like this. And let's try to hit 11,000 by the end of this month. Obviously, guys, I'm going to be posting these penny stock videos every single week. So if this interests you, go ahead and join the channel. So the second low float penny stock on our list is going to be Obalon Therapeutics. So this one is another low float penny stock. Gaining momentum on Tuesday, shares of OBLN surged to highs of about $2.06, bringing its Q4 move to about 119%, which is a huge, huge move in my opinion. You'll see on the chart that OBLN is no stranger to big uh, price spikes. Earlier this month, shares exploded to highs of $3.13, from about $1.57 the day before. We also saw something similar back in the first half of the year as well. The overall trend has been bullish, but it has obviously come with considerably high levels of volatility where the stock moves up, stock moves down dramatically. 
And obviously, there's uh, there haven't been any new updates from the company in, in the time being. Obalon focuses on developing and commercializing medical devices. Specifically, its devices target people with obesity and who are overweight. So we've discussed the company plenty of times in the past. So if it seems familiar, that's because it probably is and it's been on this list. The company's balloon system helps uh, combat obesity in patients on November 6th. Obalon announced its Q3 2020 financial results for the period ending on September 30th. In the result, the company managed to bring its losses down to around 20 cents per share from 61 cents in the Q3 in 2019. Despite a lack of information, it's interesting to see which institutions are ta actually taking a stake in the company. Uh, our Mystic Capital LLC reported a 14.2% stake in the company earlier this quarter. Furthermore, Morgan Stanley reported 5.9% at the end of the third quarter. So let's take a quick look at the chart on this stock. So once again, the ticker symbol is going to be OBLN. It's going to be right there. And if we take a look at the chart, if we're looking here at the one-year chart for this stock, uh, you can see, you know, pre-Rona, this stock was trading at 65 cents. And then boom, right here, 7 million shares traded. Usually it's around 50,000 shares. So 7 million shares traded. So volume was huge. That's a big, big key factor with these penny stocks. Stock goes from about 68 cents all the way to a high of about a dollar and sixty cents, a dollar and sixty-three cents. So the stock made a hundred percent, over a hundred percent gain right there in a matter of you know a day or two. And then obviously the stock pulled back down and consolidated back down, and then we made another pull down and we created a new support around the seventy-five cents area. And the stock's been kind of just going up and down recently until right here we see on 12 7 2020, which we talked about earlier, 214 million shares. And the stock goes from $1 all the way to a high of about $2.30. So once again, over a 100% gain. And now if we look at the past and look at this exact same pattern right here, it jumped up and then pulled back down like this. And like right here, boom, it jumped up, pulled back down. So what we're expecting now is we're kind of like in this area. So we're going to be expecting to, you know, taper off and then go up a little bit. And then we're probably going to continue to sell off and go back down unless we get some, you know, big news come come up in 2021 or some other data that comes out and pushes the stock up. I'm expecting this one to pull back a little bit further and then jump back up to closer to that, you know, two dollar area. And then we'll see what happens with that. If we get, you know, obviously volume and some you know news in 2021, the stock could continue to go up and make new highs or it could uh, continue to pull back down create a new support level and then in the future some you know mid uh, 2021 or after that it could potentially break out once again all right guys and finally the third low float penny stock on our list is going to be emerson radio corp so obviously uh, this one right here, the company OS is hovering around 21 million shares. However, some sources showed a float of around 6 million. We first started following the company in mid-October. That was when MSN stock saw its first parabolic price spike. Shares jumped from 70 cents to about 92 cents within a single session. It would then go on to see numerous days of volatile trading, eventually taking it to highs of about $1.35. Since settling down a bit during the recent weeks, MSN stock charts are forming a good looking uptrend. Obviously, in total, the penny stock is up about 84% so far quarter to date. As has been the case all year, Emerson isn't one for releasing news, but the obvious boost in trading volume has traders watching. You'll likely see uh, the logo on plenty of electronics and appliances if you recall going into the department stores. Its customers include Kroger, Walmart, Amazon, and Fred Meyer, to name just a few of them. So as far as the fundamentals go, taking a look at the last 10Q shows growth for the three month ending September 30th, 2020, uh, net product sales were 2.2 million compared to 1.4 million for the second quarter of the fiscal 2020. It was an increase of 60.3% houseware products net sales alone, 112.4%. So given this growth and the latest uh, Rona stimulus optimism, MSN could be one of the low float penny stocks to watch before 2021 as it could continue to explode. So if we're looking at this one, it's going to be ticker symbol MSN right there. And if we open up this chart to see the full screen, we're going to be looking here at short term, mid term, long term. This stock is very bullish according to these analysts. So this stock was trading around 67 cents at the beginning of the year when the Rona started. And this stock was, you know, going up and down. It was pretty much staying here between that 60 and 69 cents, you know, 79 cents. Uh, staying in that five to ten cents area, and then right here, volume. Volume was key. Usually, it trades around twenty-six thousand shares, but right here, we can see it traded around five million shares. And then on the next day after that, we had nine million, ten million shares. This stock went from about seventy cents all the way to a high here of about a dollar and ten cents. So it went up about forty cents. So you know, close to about fifty percent, a little bit higher than fifty percent gain. And then the stock pulled back down. 
Volume picked up once again right here, trading at around 3 million shares and then 2.5 million shares. The stock went from about $0.83 cents to about $1.14, so another $0.30 cent gain. So it seems like to be making a nice pattern where the stock goes up, pulls back down, and then makes a new high, pulls back down, you know, higher highs and lower lows, which is something we like to see. We're kind of creating this wedge, as you can kind of see this wedge going up. And if we continue that wedge, this stock could break out and continue to fly up with some high volume, obviously, since this is a low floating penny stock. This one could explode and we could see it run up past that $2 area if it can break through that resistance of about a dollar and 10 cents that I'm seeing in my opinion right here. So if we can break through that and get some volume to push this one up, this one could definitely be an exploder in 2021. So keep a very close eye out on this penny stock as it could be a flyer. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, you know, I'm going to continue to make these penny stock videos for you guys as you guys seem to be enjoying them, you know, from my content. So these are going to be the three low flow penny stocks, obviously, to watch before 2021 and going into 2021, which are up about 70% just this quarter. Uh, these are obviously going to be very, very volatile, like we mentioned in the beginning of the video. So before you invest into any of these, make sure you do some paper trading. If you've never invested, speak to your financial advisor. If you guys want to sign up for Webull and do some paper trading, links in the description. Sign up for Webull, get four free stocks. Two of those stocks could be worth up to $1,600. Also, if you want to sign up for Robinhood, links in the description. Get your free stock when you sign up with Robinhood as well. Leave a comment below, guys, letting me know what do you think about these low-flow penny stocks. Do you trade low-flow penny stocks, or do you think they're too dangerous, too volatile for you? Also, go ahead and smash that like button like we said. Let's try to get 100-plus likes. Subscribe to the channel for more content, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.